In a secure building inside the Mexican Ministry of Defense compound in Mexico City, displays of items seized in raids tell the story of drug trafficking. These are samples of marijuana, cocaine, heroin and other drugs. We cannot show the face of the Army tour guide for security reasons. The most impressive collection in this narco museum contains guns seized by the military. Many high-powered, fully automatic rifles such as these are readily available in Central America and can easily be smuggled across Mexico's porous border with Guatemala. But most of these gaudily decorated pistols originated up north. Many of these semi-automatic pistols on display here that were confiscated from drug traffickers have been traced to gun shops in the United States. Mexican soldiers and police killed in gun battles have often been victims of guns smuggled into the country by the same gangs that are smuggling drugs out of the country. Mexican authorities have said 90 percent of these weapons are from the United States, but the tracing done with U.S. assistance began by identifying guns of U.S. manufacture, so the figure is skewed. Gun ownership is severely restricted in Mexico. In the United States, it's guaranteed by the Bill of Rights, but these fully automatic weapons and grenades taken from drug cartel killers cannot be legally sold in U.S. stores. Still, Mexico City-based security expert Ana Maria Salazar says the United States must do its part to stop gun smuggling. Clearly not all of the guns that these cartels have access to are coming exclusively from the United States. But it is also true that the largest percentage of these guns are coming through the United States. And simply because it's just very easy to get guns in the United States. It's just very easy to bring them back into Mexico. U.S. federal agents have stepped up inspection of vehicles going into Mexico and have arrested a number of U.S. citizens who purchased guns in stores and then sold them to Mexican smugglers. While the violence in Mexico has not yet spilled over the U.S. border in any large way, it very well could someday, and Ana Maria Salazar says U.S. officials should be doing everything they can to help Mexico win this war. At the end of the day, it is in U.S. interest to make sure that Mexico is a peaceful, peaceful, prosperous neighbor, just because of the, the large border that there is between both countries. And she says since drug consumers in the United States supply the cartels with enormous amounts of money, the U.S. government is morally obligated to help Mexico confront these violent organizations. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Mexico City.